For 10,000 years, Soromar was the only world we knew. As the ages passed, Azeroth changed around us and fell into the Legion's grasp. To secure our people's future, you must help reclaim our place in Azeroth. Venture forth alongside new allies and show the world that the legacy of the Nightborn is one of nobility and strength. Hello, it is Queen. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Nightborn and give you some roleplay suggestions. Keep in mind that these are just general guidelines you can roleplay however you wish. Let's get into the lore. The Nightborn, also known as the Shalderai, were night elves that walled themselves off with a magical shield from the rest of the world during the War of the Ancients 10,000 years ago. Believing that the rest of the world was inhospitable, they stayed confined to Surmar City meaning that they had limited resources to survive off of. They turned to the magical powers of the Nightwell to keep them alive. I think Thorissa tells it better than I can. 10,000 years ago, my city was radiant. The jewel of the Night Elf Empire, Suramar. Our people prospered for centuries until the Legion came. Entranced by the power they offered, our queen betrayed us to the ruin of the world. As destruction drew ever closer, a desperate choice was made. To conjure a powerful shield that would save our beloved city. It worked. Centuries passed. Without moonlight. Without sunlight. To survive, we turned to the Nightwell, a font of great power in the city's heart. Slowly, it changed us. And ultimately, drew the Legion once more to our gates. They offered us a trade. The Nightwell for our lives. As the Elders planned their surrender, some of us rebelled. We failed. Now the devils have taken Surama. And by the curse of the Nightwell, I am damned to wither away. As my city burns. If one was caught defying their leader, Elisand, they would be exiled from Suramar City, left for dead. Being addicted to the mana provided by the Nightwell, outcasts would have to try and find other sources of mana to keep them alive. When we meet Delrissa, she is nightfallen due to not getting enough mana. Eventually, we defeat Elisan, liberate the citizens of Soramar, and cure their addiction with the fruit from the magical tree, the Arkandor. Since the Nightborn are no longer addicted to mana, Delrissa made the decision to let the Nightwell die. The reasons for the Nightborn joining the Horde are kind of petty, but it makes sense. Since the Alliance and the Horde helped liberate Suramar, Larissa met with both factions. Larissa met with Tyrande and was not pleased by the words coming out of Tyrande's mouth. I must admit, when I first learned of the Horde, I was skeptical that we would share common ground. I thought our kin from Kalimdor would make obvious allies, but their arrogance and mistrust soon proved otherwise. Arcanist Thalysra, I remember where your order stood in the War of the Ancients. How do we know you won't betray us and become the next Elisand, the next Ajara? We do not intend to be slaves to the Nightwell. We seek to drive the Legion from Suramar and put an end to Elisand's oppression. The Kaldori will fight to see the Legion defeated and the Nightwell destroyed. Beyond that, we shall see where Elune's wisdom guides us. Later she met with Lady Liadrin, who stirred the pot a little bit, 
and sided with Thoris's opinion of the Night Elves. The Sindori are also scorned by Tyrande and her prideful lot. Yet for many ages, her people slept in dens or hid in trees while my people fought to save this world. The Alliance feels too walled off, too cloistered. My people will never endure such stagnation again. We meet up with Thorissa in Silvermoon City. Thorissa witnesses the Sunwell fiasco caused by Illyria and decides that Illyria's actions further prove that the Nightborn should not join the Alliance. Next up, we have the classes that you can play. Warriors. Warriors are plate-wearing fighters who strive for perfection in armed combat. Even though warriors typically don't use magic, you do have the power to summon an arcane mailbox. Hunters. Hunters are at home in the wilderness and can rely on their weaponry and or pet to deal damage. Your starting pet is a mana saver. Get those arcane arrows ready. Rogues. Rogues often serve as assassins or scouts, hiding in the shadows, observing their target, or waiting to ambush their target. Somebody had to be a spy during the liberation of Suramar. Maybe it was you. Priests. Priests are well-rounded healers with a variety of tools. It's not really stated whether or not the Nightborn still worship a loon. There is no mention of a loon in Suramar. It wouldn't surprise me if they still do. Mages. Mages are casters who use both offensive and defensive spells. This is probably the most popular choice. Magic has been, and continues to be, a very big part of Nightborn society. Warlocks. Warlocks cast fire or shadow magic to damage, drain, and curse their enemy. They can also command demons. This one can be a little strange for some of you. The Nightborn may have become curious of fell magic and its power. But on the other hand, would you really want to subject yourself to demonic powers after being terrorized by demons? It is a great power to control demons. Maybe it's power that you seek. And lastly, we have the monks. Monks are known for their hand-to-hand -hand combat and use of chi as a resource. The only way I can tie this class into the Nightborn is that they were taught the way of the monk by other horde monks. Now on to roleplay suggestions. Remember, I'm just giving you general guidelines and rules. You can roleplay however you wish. Just keep in mind where one server is forgiving, the other may not be. All Nightborn were addicted to mana. You have been cured of that addiction through arcane and nature magic by eating the fruit of the Arkandor. You no longer feel the need to ingest mana, but the question remains, can you relapse? Nightborn are extraordinarily long-lived. There is not a lot of information about the Nightborn, whether or not they were affected as the Night Elves were in terms of immortality being given and lost, but we can assume they can thank the Nightwell for their longevity. The Nightwell is no longer maintained by the Eye of Amenthal, so it is slowly dying. You may be an ancient Nightborn remembering the walling off of Suramar City, or maybe you were born after the wall went up. Looking at Night Elf age, 400 years is barely an adult. Keep in mind that if you don't want to use a number, just say you are an adult or ancient. 10,000 years is a long time. The Nightborn just recently found out that beyond their city limits, the rest of the world is thriving. It was believed that everything outside of Suramar was uninhabitable. This is your first time outside Suramar in 10,000 years. You've got a lot of catching up to do. How are you liking the rest of the world? After being cooped up for 10,000 years, how does it feel to walk freely amongst the land? With that being said, remember that you are probably racist and or very distrusting of anyone that is not your race. Nightborn are rude to outsiders. I know that sounds terrible, but it's common Nightborn behavior. You have not seen anyone but Nightborn for 10,000 years. However, after joining the Horde, you may have eased up a bit with your harsh opinions. Thorissa, at least, accepts the presence of Blood Elves. So maybe the Nightborn have eased up a bit. Of course, you do not have to roleplay this way. It's your character. You decide how they feel about others. Nightborn think very highly of themselves in general. They can be seen throwing extravagant parties, floating around being social butterflies. Even their city is meticulously kept in a beautiful state. You probably will not be wrestling a pig in the mud or hugging on a sweaty orc. 
Some things are just beneath you and that's okay. Just remember to give your Nightborn and all the characters that you roleplay some flaws. Maybe your Nightborn accidentally farts when they laugh, who knows? Don't forget that when you make a Nightborn, you have access to where you first spawn in. You can go back through that portal. If you are coming outside of the embassy, it will be right in front of you. If you take a look around, you have a pretty large area to throw a Nightborn only party. Please make use of this beautiful area. You even have access to Shaloran where the Arkandor is. Sadly, you cannot walk outside of Shaloran at low levels, you will be ported back inside. However, there are portals inside Shaloran that allow you to go to various places within the Suramar zone. But be careful, I just took one to the Sanctum of Order and was immediately one shot. Then you get stuck in a continuous loop of being revived and slain. Anyways, technically, you don't have to wait till 110 to roleplay in Suramar. Lastly, remember that if you have warlock pets, please do not have them out in public or within major cities. It is a general no-no. Thank you for watching my Nightborn RP guide. If I missed anything, please feel free to comment below. If you like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not. Also, please join my Discord. The link is in the description as well as my stream schedule. I stream here on YouTube Gaming and Twitch. I would love to meet you. Have fun roleplay and see y'all, Moonguard. Love y'all. Bye.